What's going on guys, it's Shu here bringing you a, another review of Tales of the Jedi. And I have to say, this episode by far is the best episode in the entire thing. And it was the longest, it was about 15 minutes. But I gotta say, this has so much to unpack. So guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And let's get to it. So, we start this chapter or I don't want to say chapter, but this episode, excuse me, of seeing Count Dooku going into the Jedi archives and deleting Geonos, I mean, excuse me, uh, Kamino from the files. Something that we saw in the episode two movie where he did this. This was actually after killing Master De Sifo Diaz. I don't know why we didn't see that. That would have been heartbreaking, but it would have been kind of cool to have seen. But we actually have him talking to Qui-Gon after Qui-Gon actually had his first encounter with Darth Maul. And I gotta say, I hated that the Jedi ignored what what Qui-Gon had said. Dooku absolutely believed him. And I love that they had a conversation one last time before we have him die. And honestly, it was really sad to see Dooku now more than ever, like having lost his his companion, you know, his good friend from so long ago to to lose him like this, you know, and just feeling so disillusioned with the Jedi being pawns and we know he was already on a different path. Yadel tried to talk to him at one point and where she had actually lost her um her seat or given up her seat on the council because she too believed the Jedi had lost their way after Qui-Gon's death and truly and honestly you know maybe Yato could have saved Dooku had it been earlier I feel bad for him you know and uh, I genuinely genuinely excuse me hate that he went this route because he thought it was the right call because he joins up with Sidious he leaves and he go basically goes to the works where we've seen him uh, or Sidious being there waiting on him and seeing how like he tells him look i've done everything you've asked of me you know i have you know betrayed everyone and everything and it looks like he himself has actually struggled with everything that he's done he didn't want to do this but he also felt that the jedi weren't progressing so this is understandable you know this is the choice that he thought was the right one obviously it wasn't yadel does try to put a stop to this you know, he's saying, whatever he's offering you, Dooku, you can, we can make this right. We can fix this. Please think about this. Don't do this. And I love it because she was trying to be as calm and as, I, I guess, reasonable as she could be with Dooku. Dooku, at no point did he really want to be able to be in this position with Yato because other than Qui-Gon, Yato also believed in him. And it, to him, this was just a matter of... I'm sorry. I, I have to do what I have to do. I don't want to kill you, but I have to. And to prove his loyalty to, to Sidious, he ends up having to fight her. And it gives off this vibe of, you know, conflict. Dooku doesn't want to fight Yato. Yato tries to talk to him even during the fight. And even then, it is not enough. It truly isn't enough for him to change his ways and for a second there we thought Yato may have actually gotten to him but it wasn't enough in the fact in the end we have Dooku killing Yato and basically from here on out siding with Sidious this was the beginning of his descent to the dark side he has already used the dark side before but now we see that he actually has gone through this path and i gotta say before i wrap up this like this uh, uh video i have enjoyed thoroughly getting to see dooku in a new light dooku is not a pushover you know a lot of times people really thought that dooku was weak and whatnot no this man was quite powerful and for him to fall to the dark side he had to have struggled so much to get to this point so I truly and honestly 
have like from watching this have gotten a new appreciation for for Dooku. You know, Darth Sit and Darth Tyrannus. A name that he didn't go by much, but he was known. He did some wicked things, guys. We all know what he's done based on the Clone Wars. But in the end, he wanted there to be peace. And what he said to uh, Yato was just heart, you know, heart-wrenching. Like, goodness. The teller's like, I just want to bring balance and, and peace. And <laughs> in the end, he couldn't do either. So, it's sad for Dooku, but this is a great great thing that we actually got to be able to enjoy him but guys that is it for me i hope you guys have enjoyed i'll talk more about my thoughts later on in a different video like i've said but make sure to like this one if you did comment subscribe and i will catch you all later